Good morning, Pisces. I hope you guys are doing good today. Feeling good today. Staying peaceful. Be careful out there. The energies are vicious. They're trying to take souls. Watch your decisions. Stay in peace. Stay with God. I am doing personals. The information is in the description box. Okay. Spirit angels and ancestors, please help me with this message for Pisces today. No, I'm going to do um, overall, recent past, and it's in a, and current situation, immediate future. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. <clears throat> overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm really a person that kind of calmed down in the way they are handling a situation. I feel like Pisces, you really just don't care anymore about um, getting back at someone. I think there was a point where you kind of were trying to move mountains to, I think, be with someone. But I feel like now you just, you don't really care. All right, the recent past, we have the King of Wands. Inconsistent person, the king of wands in reverse, just very inconsistent. Not in your life. Well, I kind of feel like they are in your life. They're trying to be in your life. I see that in the reverse, but I don't, it's like the, the seven of swords in reverse. It's like, yeah, I'm not trying to do that again. I have a different way of living now. All right. Current situation, we have the hanged man in reverse. It's like you're taking actions toward towards a different lifestyle. That's what I'm feeling here. Like you want to do something different now. You're very much aware of this person, this person's behaviors, even your own. It's like a sense of like, you know what you want now. In the immediate future, we have the page of wands in reverse. So I feel like this person is still going to continue to be in and out of your life. That's what I'm feeling. Even in the immediate future, they're going to find a way to sneak back in. And I'm going to tell you with this page of wands in reverse, it's like they're trying to disrupt what you have going on for yourself. I don't know if they're intentionally trying to do it, but their energy in your life is just, it's not going to work. All right, let's go a little bit deeper. Seven of swords in reverse. What is this energy? Like, I just don't care anymore. I was invested in this person and I really don't care. I have other things going on in my life that don't involve trying to trick someone to be with me. Tired of that. There's the seven seven. Ooh, and the magician. Damn. You found a new calling in your life. This magician card. And we have the seven of cups here. It's like there's a new calling. You're not confused anymore. You're not confused. You don't want to play this like cat and mouse game with someone. You're like, I'm I got bored of that. I don't want to do that no more. I don't like being lost like that. I found a better foundation for myself. 
I found a better way of living. I'm more in tune with the universe and myself. It's like you can feel the higher energies out there, kind of like, you know, the God, the angels. And it's like you're applying it to your life. Like you want a different way of living. So I can see why you don't want to play. You don't want to play with this person anymore. You're done. That energy is over. You used to be there, but you, no, you're not doing that anymore. All right, let's go into this recent past with this inconsistent person that continues to try to get back into your life. King of Wands. Got the Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups in reverse. Give me one moment. Okay, so I, it's pretty clear to me this person... This person doesn't want what's best for you, Pisces. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that. And I keep feeling like it's not intentional. It's it's their subconscious. It's like, it's just the way they are or who they grew up to be or how they were taught. Or it could be their own demons inside of them that they just don't understand how to treat a person like you. They don't get what's going on in your mind and the thoughts that you're having. They don't They don't understand that. It's a little different. I told you, you guys are a little out there, you know? So they don't understand that. They don't connect with you in that way. So in a way, when people don't understand things, it's like they get mad at it and they want to kill it in a way. They get hostile. The demons inside of them get irritated. Oof, yeah, I felt that. So this person does not know how to love you. It's like they want to be in your life for some reason, and I don't know if it's just to bother you, but... They might be attracted to your energy in another way, which is crazy, but they don't know how to appreciate it. I feel like the three of cups are telling me that, yeah, in the past with this person who was very inconsistent, um, you got lost. You got, you, lo you lost yourself. You got confused, kind of like the seven of cups it's like a, there was a confusion and it didn't it just didn't help your life and you really don't want to go back there because you found a better uh, foundation for yourself I feel like you missed out on moments with your family and friends because of this person it's like oh I feel it now it's like you dedicated so much energy and time into this person and you're thinking back at oh my goodness like I feel like maybe relatives that you should have been around or people that really needed you and you kind of dropped them. And you're like, for what now? Damn. That's rough. Okay, let's go into this hangman in reverse. Current situation. I'm wide awake. Yeah. I'm wide awake. We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun card. Give me one moment. Hmm. Did you notice, Pisces, that once you put this person in their place in your universe, in your in your world? Things just started flowing for you. Things just started happening for you. That's no coincidence at all. That is what happens when you let people in like that into your atmosphere, into your life. They take from you. 
They take your blessings. They clog it up. They clog your mind. So you can't really be receptive. So the energy of that receiving gets blocked with this person. And I feel bad for this person because this person just doesn't get you. How you maneuver in the world. How things just magically happen. It's like a jealousy for that. For you. We got the sun card here. Your current situation is the sun, right? All that darkness that was behind you, I mean, is behind you. You just want to see the light. You're just reaping the positive vibes right now. You're reaping from the positive vibes. You're not letting people cloud your judgment, get in the way of your life anymore. It's a beautiful energy, Pisces. I'm sure it came with a lot of pain. But like I always say, pain is transformative. Pain is necessary in our lives so that we can grow. Immediate future. We have to learn. We're human, you know? We have the immediate future, page of wands in reverse. Tell me more about this page of wands in the immediate future. This person that just does, is relentless. They just want to come back. Ooh, Pisces. You can make a bad judgment. A bad decision I see here. I don't know, Pisces, watch out, watch out. Your heart sometimes is in a good place and I, and I get that. But I see here with the two of swords, like you, you get lost a little, this person confuses you. So as wonderful as all these energies that you're currently feeling, this person still lingers in your mind. And this judgment in reverse is telling me that possibly a bad decision will be made. That's what I'm getting. Beware of your heart, Pisces. Beware of... Of a good-looking person that smiles at you and says that they love you and they want you. Beware of it. Or maybe that they need you. That's what I'm feeling. The feeling of needing somebody is very different than wanting that person in your life because you you want them. You want to, you want to be good for them. You want them to have beautiful things. That's what that's the energy you're looking for. Somebody that you know wants to make your life beautiful. Not that they need you because their energy is too weak on their own. You know. All right, let's see if there's anything. Is there anything else that Pisces needs to know? Anything else that Pisces needs to know? Yeah. It's a beware again. Um, but I also feel like it's also saying that you are more equipped than you were before. And that you like to see this person try to disrupt your life because you know like where you're standing and you know this person very well and you're not you're not trying to get you know lost again. So I feel like you're saying you're better equipped. But I feel like the two of wands, the universe is saying, be careful with that thought. Be careful with it. There's a soft spot in your heart for this person. All right, let's do some advice, even though I feel like that's advice, but I like to use yo shows. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces.
Uh, Vice for Pisces. Spirit Angels and Ancestors, what is the best advice for Pisces? Something about you is not complete. Um, as much as I feel this positive energy, this connection with the universe, um, with your evolution, there is a part of you, and I think ugh, I know exactly why they're saying this, because this is going to be your downfall. This will be the reason why you allow someone, and maybe it's not this person exactly, it could be even someone else in your life, like you didn't learn from your mistakes, because there's an inner problem with you. There's an inner um, feeling that you are not whole and complete all by yourself. Get to the root of that, Pisces. I heard something really, I forget who said it, but um, Pastor Jackie, I don't remember what her name was. I really love her though. She has great energy. Um, she said, you know, Jesus was alone and Jesus was fine. So, I feel like figure out what scares you about being alone. All right, let's do a blessing too. Angels, help me with this blessing today for Pisces. Angels, help me with this blessing today for Pisces. Help me help those Pisces out there. The angel of emergence. It is time for the real you to emerge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The you without someone else. You were born alone. You're going to die alone. Figure yourself out. Everything, everybody and everything in between is beautiful. It's, a, it's just an amazing uh, contribution to your life if you have those positive connections in your life. But just remember... You were born alone and you will die alone. Learn to love yourself. Figure who you are and what you really need in order to serve, not only survive, but to thrive in this world. For me, I latch on to God. That's all I need. That's all I see. Figure out how you survive on your own. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.